Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Kim here and today is our Techniques Tuesday and we are starting a brand new series of uh, techniques working with jewelry, uh, repurposing, recycling, upcycling, reusing and creating different uh, charms, dangles, tassels, you name it, for our junk journals and a few other little projects on the side. You know, I'm hoping we'll do some window decorating, uh, window dangles, and, you know, maybe some jewelry as well. Uh, depends on how things work. I have a fun group of projects that I'd like to to share. And so, you know, if the response is very good on this, I will continue for, for weeks because I have lots of stuff I can show you. Now, before I get started, I would also like to uh, welcome any other YouTube channels that maybe have your own techniques on doing uh, jewelry and charms and, and those kinds of things for junk journals. And uh, if you would like to share that and uh, share in the collaboration, I am um, using the hashtag, uh, hashtag charms and dangles. And those are both plural with an S, charms and dangles s um so it's one word with the hashtag um you'll see it in the description below and if you are doing that just use that hashtag it's a brand new hashtag i've checked nobody's using it so this gives all of our subscribers the opportunity to put in that hashtag and all of our videos will show up and if you do decide to become a collaborator, please let me know. This way I can also do extra promoting for you and hopefully you can promote me back and, you know, we can share subscribers and get people, you know, checking out our different channels and just having fun. So, um, yeah, if you are a YouTube channel and you want to uh, collaborate with me, I'm always excited to, to work with other uh, uh, YouTubers and to share the experience with my subscribers. So I have this great big bag of jewelry and you saw me uh, promote it in my last um, Thrifty Canucks uh, video and I've waited to open it. Even I didn't get to open it yet. Um, you know, I mean, I peeked through the bag, but I didn't want to get into it until uh, I knew I could play with it. So the only thing I'm going to do today is open it up, show you the pieces. And then if you see on the table here, I've got, I've got four trays to start. I, I, I do have more, but I have four trays to start and we will label each tray. And th those will be the kinds of things that we play with on a week to ba week basis. So for example, if I come up with the idea that this is going to be uh, for stuff for making charms, uh, like for dangles in our journals, um, then Anything that goes in there will be what we play with that week when we do uh, charms and dangles. And if we're doing window decorations or maybe we're making some um, metal uh, tassels to hang from our journals um, or other uh, beadwork, we will separate all completely so that we can focus on one area and then uh, have lots of uh, fun things to do. Um, so, so yeah, let's get started and, and I, I will explain things as we go along, as we open the bag and go through the stuff. I'm just going to take a little bit out at a time because sometimes it gets a little overwhelming, right? Yeah. And I paid $15 for this goodie bag. I'm just going to put it off to the side. We'll work with a little bit at a time. So you can see what's in here and have fun. So this is just a plain button earring with, um, you know, a post back. These I usually use to make charms. Um, they can be charms. They can also be um, centers of flowers if I want to make flowers. They can be... Um, uh, elements on a page but most likely they they're best to be charms because they're quite thick so now this doesn't have a dangle thing or a whole things so so this one i put in a separate container called charms uh you know to be made up um and that's a that's a fun project too when we play with these so i'm just gonna say i'm gonna call them charm wannabes okay they're not a charm yet but they're gonna be one because they don't have anything to dangle or to hang from a project so it's a charm wannabe so i'm gonna just mark this and so it's going into the the first bucket and there's a couple of those. So there's this uh, big globby earring. 
And when we get to this um, this week where we're doing this, um, then we will break these down even further. And here's another one. It's just this um, shaped bead or shaped earring. It looks like it broke off of something, but it can be a charm wannabe. This one is really like an embellishment because it's already ready. Um, it, it could just be glued onto something. So I'm going to call this, um, I don't know. I think this could just be an embellishment by itself. So this would be something I would use on the front of a journal. So I'm going to call it embellishment. And then, so I got to get this out of my way. It's bothering me here. As always, things are teetering in here. And so here I've got this little thing. And again, no, no, um, uh, hook or eye hole or anything like that. So it's a charm wannabe to me. Uh, it looks like it's missing a couple of these little metal stones, but we can still play with that further. Um, this is an earring and these are my, oh, the worst ones. <laughs> Um, this one I'm going to put right into another container that I call, you know, oddities and weird things. And now if you've been watching my channel, the last couple of things that we've been doing, I've been getting you to save some of these weird things. I don't save these little rubbers because they're, they're usually pretty gross. Um, but yeah, I, I've got another thing that I'm calling weird and odd. So weird and odd stuff. So I'm just going to put that in there. It's really like if, if we broke this off, it's really thick and bulky. So it's not something that you can easily maneuver into a charm. I mean, we can, uh, but it's just not the easiest thing to play with. So I'm just going to put it in the weird and odd stuff. Okay, let's get to something good here. This one is just a flat piece and there isn't a hole in this either. So it's a charm wannabe. And trust me, I have a great way to to uh, work with those. Now, this is a button. Uh, it's a button cover, actually, is what it is. Yeah, so you um, you feed your button onto there, and then this becomes a, a little cover. So, hmm, yeah, I'm really getting the weird stuff now. <laughs> I'm going to call that an embellishment, um, and we will work with those at, when the time comes. Okay, here's another charm wannabe, just a post earring. I have this daisy. Now, it could be about an embellishment just by itself. It's very pretty. Um, or it could be a charm wannabe. But I, I think I would use it just like this if I was doing something. So I'm going to put that into embellishments. Here's another wannabe. Now, here is an owl. And look at him, he's so cute, but he is missing his loopy thing to make him a charm. So he has a choice. He can either be a flat embellishment, which he, he looks like he would uh, do very well like that, or he could be a charm wannabe, but I'm, I'm going to put him into embellishment because I think that's where we could use him. And it's not to say we won't take things from there later on and do other things with it. Here's a button that's broke off of something. Again, I look at this and say embellishment. Um, it could be a charm, but I, I'm going to go with an embellishment. And here we have another post earring, and we have another one of these. And I see there's some of these beads are loose. Um, so we will put that into charm wannabes. Looks like we're going to have a lot of charm wannabes. Okay, now... We are getting to some fun stuff. Okay, so here is, that's a guitar pick, isn't it? Yeah, an earring guitar pick. <laughs> um, here is where we have a charm that um, I'm calling a charm because it has a hole. There's even a jump ring here. I will remove the earring apart, but I'm not going to do that today. Uh, but it already is ready to be dangled from something. So we're going we're gonna to call it a charm. Um, but we're, we are going to embellish these further because that's kind of boring just like that to put it on. Unless you're putting it on a, uh, a, a music journal and you want a guitar pick. 
Um, so if somebody does want a guitar pick, let me know. Um, so I'm putting that right into charms because we were, are going to enhance those charms. So they're kind of charms and dangles. They're the real thing, the charms and dangles. Okay, I have another post earring here. Oh, this is pretty. I hope you can see these things. It's got a green center, but yeah, it's it's nothing right now except a post. So charm wannabe. Another dangle. This looks like um, just a flat bead with a hole in it, but it does have a jump ring. So it's a charm uh, and dangle to be made. I've got this heart here. I hope you guys can see all this stuff. It's got a loop at the top so we can uh, add something onto the top. And it also has a little uh, hole at the bottom so we can dangle from there as well. So it's a charm dangle. Same with this earring with a bead. This is pretty much ready to go as a, as a dangle. Uh, but we'll stick it in there un until we're working with them. You know, some jewelry... Doesn't it make you wonder? Like they've got this big saucer on here. Like that's the bead at the bottom. And and so you would have wore it with this pearl with the dangle off of here. Um, so this is kind of a dangle already, but it really needs some work. So it's going into the charms and dangles. I have a little camera. That's really cute. So that is a charm um, pretty much ready to go, but we're making charms and dangles. So so uh, I will put it in the charms. Another flat back. Um, you know, some of these are just so darn ugly. <laughs> you just wonder, what can you do with these, right? Uh, I'm going to slip that into weird. And actually, I'm going to take this one out because it's pretty weird. And this big blobby white thing is going into the weird. I hope you guys can see all this. Uh, another very large clip-on, uh, but that would be a charm wannabe, definitely. And same with this one. Now this is, it's got two dragons and a heart. And on either side of the dragon, there is a loop with a jump ring on it. So this is already, it was a necklace, but... To me, that would be a beautiful charm. Beautiful charm. And then I have this flower that dangles. Lots of black stuff, I noticed. Um, but we can change that too. So this is automatically going into the charm one. And this earring, this, uh, this is kind of a chandelier style of earring. I hope you can see that. We really should have maybe a white piece of paper that you guys can see. Well, I have a I have a paper towel here. It's not exactly white, but at least this way you can see them a little bit better. So this one, it doesn't look like it's missing anything, and it's one of those earrings you wouldn't be able to tell if it was. Um, so it's kind of fun. You know, there are some extra loops on there. We can add more stuff to it if we want. So that's definitely going into the charms and dangles. Now this one is um, definitely ready to be put into the charms and dangles. There is an elephant on here. There's some beads. Oh, I guess this is Africa. Oh, yeah, that looks like Africa to me. Now, it's on a post, but we will probably take it off of there and use it a little bit differently. So there is an elephant, and it looks like it's Africa, I'm guessing. Um but yeah, definitely into the charms. And this is a little bag of charms, I think. It looks like it to me. Yes. Oh, look at that. They're little fairies. How fun is that to get a whole little baggie of these? There's one, two, three, four, five, seven of them. That's pretty cool. So if you can see that, I hope. So that's going right into the charms. Anything that already has the hole in it is automatically going into the charms. Now this one has, it looks like the letter S. And it's on a heart. Who's S? We have Susan. 
Yeah, who else do we have that has an S? Somebody write it down. Somebody leave it in the comments because maybe we'll give this to Susan. Um, another one of these uh, earrings. So that's another charm. Then we have this one here. And it's on a jump ring. And it is a ring anyway, which is very easy to add any kind of ring we want. But it, it has one here. So again, this becomes a charm automatically. More of these blobby bits and the pieces that were falling out of them. <laughs> so that goes into charm wannabe. And a piece of chain. Now this is uh, a chain that is, it's very small, but you can still link a jump ring through here. So that's going into the charms and dangles because we're going to use this chain. Now this one is some rhinestone chain, not easy to link onto. It's just a plain black rhinestone. Uh, it looks like it could be separated into single lines. So I'm calling this embellishment. And here's why. If I gathered up some uh, scrappy fabrics or even scrap papers and then I glued this down the center, it would make a beautiful embellishment just like that. So I'm telling you that a little bit ahead of time, but it's going right into the embellishments for when we get to work with them. A single bead on an earring hook automatically becomes a charm dangle. Ooh, this one's a fancy one. This is almost like a, hmm, this is like a harp almost. It's hard to say. Okay, so it's missing a loop, or maybe there isn't one there. Okay, so it looks like you can either wear it this way. Ooh, I don't know. But it's got a lot of uh, dangly things on it so that you can dangle it from different directions. So, yep, charms and dangles. Um, A little earring here that I hope this is not too boring for you guys, but this is how I sort my junk jewelry when I find it. So this earring here dangles freely once we take it off the hook. Charm. Now here's another one. This is, um, this is two dangles off of this straight bar here and it looks yeah that has a hook on it too and it was an earring well another one of those ugly earrings but these are both perfect little charms and then we can decide what to do with these after um, I will mention, but I probably won't even start to separating them until we are working with the actual pieces. I do keep these uh, metal backs, uh, you know, the earring backs, uh, and I will keep the earring hooks too, not to repurpose for jewelry unless you clean them um, because they are dirty, you know, if somebody wore them. And we don't know if somebody wore them or not. Sometimes you get brand new pieces right in, in, in a baggie. Uh, but these I keep to be the bottom of stick pins, uh, which uh, we may make some stick pins. Um, and I also keep them for the bottom of straight pins that I do some beading on. So that, that will get further separated into another, you know, section when we get to the charms and dangles. Now this is an interesting piece of chain. It's on a curve. It's a link. Um, you know, it, it looks like it has the holes for, you know, the elastic or, or something to put them together. Yeah, there's two holes on this side, two on this side. It is quite raised. It could be a dangle because there are holes in here. So I I'm going to call it a dangle. You know, it would it would dangle nicely uh, from a from a journal uh, back and then you could maybe add other charms and things onto it. So I'm I'm calling that one a dangle. This one is um, a really cute. It's a very pretty purple uh, stone like an amethyst, but I don't think it's real amethyst. It's probably fake. It looks like it came off of something. I don't see any type of hook on here. So now it's a toss up between do I make it into a charm 
or do I make it into an embellishment? I like the idea of embellishment. This would be really pretty to put inside of a flower. So again, you know, this is one of those things that if I had a silk flower, um, you know, that I had made made up, this would be a beautiful center for the flower. So embellishment is where it's going. Now here's a dangle that is pretty much done already. <laughs> it's a beaded earring on the top. Like a, a larger bead at the top with the dangles on it. But, you know, we can add all kinds of fun things too to make this longer and uh, more interesting. So I'm putting it in the charms. I think we're going to have a huge day of charms. This one is just a glass um, blob. It must have, I think that you could probably feed a, an elastic through there. Yeah, I see the hole on the other end. Um, it's not the most attractive looking thing. I mean, it's okay, but yeah, I'm going to call it a charm wannabe and we'll, we'll play on it. Maybe I, maybe we should just call it something weird. I'm going with the weird. Now this one, um, has, you know, it's one of these that you, you, uh, pull the back. I wonder if it's broken. Yeah, it must be broken. Um, so, so it's just a little blob stone here. We probably could, um, rig something up. So I'm going to say charm wannabe. This is an interesting piece. Eh? It looks very steampunk, very, um, metal. That's definitely a charm. Here is another uh, post earring. Um, it could be an embellishment. I think it looks like it's an embellishment already. So I'm putting it there. Yeah, these chains don't work well for much. And I don't know. This looks like it plugs into something. <laughs> it's weird, right? It's kind of weird. It's like a slinky... Um, yeah, it's kind of weird, weird stuff. And this looks, it's a bobby pin. But that would make, um, just by itself, that would make a nice um, clip to clip into. And you don't have to do anything to it. So that's, I'm going to stick that into another ready-to-go pile. <laughs> it's not part of the jewelry. Okay, we've got a clear star here. I don't think there's a hole in here. Now, I don't have my magnifiers with me, but I don't think there's a hole in this. So I'm going to say Charm Wannabe. This one is an earring that the the uh, post has come off or whatever was glued on here came off. I'm not going to take the glue off, but I'm, well, I guess I can take it off. It's coming off. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a, an earring post. But because it's got the holes in it all the way around already, it's there's nothing wrong with dangling this. This is easy to dangle, so it's going into the dangles. So you see we're getting quite a pile in there already. Flat back, post is missing, but it did have a post on here, so it's going into the charm wannabes. Here's one. Now, this is really distressed. Um, it looks like it's it's part metal and it looks like it's it's uh, tarnished or, um, you know, the patina. It, it's just really worn looking. So I'm putting it into weird because we do stuff with all of that thing, stuff. Here is another earring that is um, the post is gone. It's got a bit of a curve to it. I wouldn't use it as an embellishment because of the curve. It's too thick. Um could be a charm kind of weird here's another one of these things I don't know I'm starting to think that these should just go into the weird stuff <laughs> um, a broken piece of a plastic bracelet but it is very glitzy um, I would use this as an embellishment um, because if you tucked this in under something else um, you can you can create kind of a nice collage of things to to put on a journal cover just like that 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to call this embellishment. Uh, another flat post earring, no hook on it, wannabe. Here's a nice piece of um, shell. It's uh, like an abalone shell. Um, it's got a hole in it, charm. Ooh, I like this one. Um, this looks like some kind of a bird. I don't think it's an eagle. It is an earring with, with one of these... Um, Geez, how do you open that? Oh, I see. There we go. With one of these loopy things on here. Um, so you can you can cover that. Uh, it's a good one, isn't it? I think if we just broke it right off of this ring, it would probably make a really nice embellishment just like that. Um but it could also be a, a, a charm. I'm, I'm going to put it in the charm wannabes. Yeah, I can see I'm giving myself some really heavy-duty stuff to figure out. <laughs> well, we made the first round. How are you doing so far? So far, nothing too exciting in here. Here's a blue uh, button cover. That's an embellishment to me. Um, it could be used for a, a number of things. Here's another one of those weird things. <laughs> okay, this is a hair clip that went wrong. Um, so it could be an embellishment because this is broken. So I'm going to put this right away. I'm just going to break this right off. I think. Okay, I'm going to stick it right into the embellishments because we will work on it further. But it's um, it's uh, a nice piece that you could use to embellish a book page or, or a book cover. And we'll break that part off after. Ooh, now there's a chunky piece, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? It was probably a brooch. I don't see any parts on here. Um, it could dangle. It could be just like that embellishment. Some fun stuff. Oh, look at this turtle. That is definitely an embellishment. And I have another owl here. This one, again, has no hook on it. So embellishment. It's very flat. Um, that might have to go in my owl pile. Yeah, something went wrong here. Okay, so we've got this, this post earring, and it has a little jump ring to hold this loopy thing on. So that is automatically a charm. And if we break the post off of this, um, and we can take these apart, we can probably use this as a charm as well. Just the, the metal piece and add things onto it. So into the charms it goes. Single, very plain black beads that uh, have the double holes in them. I I probably wouldn't use these as charms. I have to be honest with myself that I wouldn't use them. Um, I think I could take the stones out of them uh, to have them separately. But there again, they're just plain black stones. I don't really know what I would do with them. So I'm going to stick them in the weird stuff. Now this is just a flat back another one of these um, multi-hold, you know, they went on a beaded bracelet. So there would have been like 20 of these uh, to make the bracelet. So it's a bead, um, but it could be a charm. Yeah, not another one that's not my favorite. <laughs> but I wouldn't, you know, it's got this abalone shell in here. I'm, I'm going to stick it in with the charms. There's some more of those things. This one is just a big blobby ugly earring. <laughs> I don't even want to make this into a charm, but I'm going to. Uh, oh. Um, yeah, it's an O. 
and this would automatically you can dangle something from it you can you can put a bigger jump ring on it charm um charm wannabe okay now is this one a bead or no it's this is broken off of something um it would not work probably as a charm i mean it could i'm going to stick it into weird We've got this beautiful beaded earring. This is very pretty. I love the colors on here. It probably needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, Hazel was asking about uh, cleaning jewelry again. Uh, what I usually do is I just take everything and throw it into soapy dishwater. If it comes out rusty, if it gets destroyed, if the paint peels off, it's not a big deal throw it in your weird box because we will do something with the weird stuff um but but for the most part it will come clean you know and and just swish it around a little bit a few times or let it soak and um it will wash off i'm not going to do anything at this point because most of this so far has been pretty good if i was doing something spe specific where i i know that the piece needs to be cleaned i'm not at that stage yet right now i'm just at the sorting um, then I would I would uh, swish it all through some soapy water. So that would happen later on, but not at this stage. I'm just doing the sorting. So this is a very pretty um, dangle by itself. So I'm just putting it in there. Here's another one broken. A lot of these things are broken off of stuff, right? So here's another one that's broken off of something, but there's lots of opportunity to hang on here, but it would also make a really pretty embellishment on something. So, you know, you can, you can take that again with, with, uh, you know, something like this, the, the rhinestones and, um, add that into it. You know, I'm not holding this perfectly straight, but you, you can, you can add or, or make that into smaller lengths as well and have different things to collage on the front of your journals. Oh, I think I like this. <laughs> um, another blobby charm wannabe. Another beaded earring. This is actually very pretty, and it's in uh, shades of green. I hope you can see that. I hope that my camera's not too, too far away for you to... So that's a dangle that's ready to go, pretty much. All right, we've got some beads on, oh, it's, oh, I see, it's like this. It is a dangle in itself already. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I bet you Thelma would like this one. Thelma or even Hazel would probably like this one. Uh, but it's going into my dangles. Yeah, that's very pretty, so really not much needs to be done with that one. Another big blobby thing. No, there's the match. <laughs> a lot of owls. Oh my goodness. Look at here's another owl. And and you can see the problem is that is the top loop broke off of all of these. So instead of trying to and I can, I can uh, come up with something that will make it back into a you know where it would dangle, but it's just as easy to put it in with the embellishments. Now, this is a fun piece. It is a necklace with lots of dangly things on it. So I look at this and I see lots of charm opportunities. Um, you know, you could even use it all in one piece as a charm. And then there's all this length of chain that can be used for other projects or for with this. So that's going definitely into the dangles. Oh my goodness, we're going to have lots Flat backed um, could have something where it dangled from something. So I'm going to call this a charm wannabe. I've got some ideas already for that. Do you remember where we put this one? Oh, we put it in charms, right? Because here's, oh, here's, here's two of them. So two more going into the charms. Mm. Love this elephant. Again, broken off the top. Um... Amarula is the name of the, the maker. Um, so it's definitely, it's heavy. Uh, so it's made out of brass. 
uh, broken hanger, so I would put this in embellishments. Now, when you have these rough edges at the top here, sometimes you can um, <clears throat> take your metal uh, snips and just keep snipping away at it so that it's not so sharp. The other alternative would be to, um, you know, embed this into something like fabric where where it's kind of kind of couching around it a little bit so that it's not um, the sharpness isn't there. I mean, you, you couldn't really put a lace hat on an elephant. I mean, you could, but, but it's just as easy to just kind of, you know, kind of smoosh your fabric. So you're encasing it into the, the uh, fabrics when you're, when you're using this kind of stuff as an embellishment. So this would be a fun thing. You know, if you are doing a journal and you're you're making a leather, a faux leather cover, so you're taking maybe some tissue papers and you're gluing it and you're swooshing the papers around to get those, you know, indents to look like leather. Well, that is, would be where I would I would try something like that and and put this in so that you have a specific spot for it on your journal cover, and then um, let your your uh, tissue harden like that. And when you're finished your journal cover and it's ready to go, then you just simply have to glue this in, and it's quite easy because you've given yourself a place for it to go where where all of that is squished in to fit it. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a pearl piece with a couple of stones missing. There's a number of things we could do with this. We could break these off individually or in small pieces because it looks like there's a few of the smaller pearls missing in between. So it can be broken off individually. I could take these two out or bury this into something so that it becomes an embellishment. You can add things like a couple of round pearls or some diamonds, something that is different uh, and yet fills the space to make it not look so obvious that something is missing. So for example, you know, I don't have a lot to work with yet, but so if I glued this down here, you wouldn't know now, would you? You wouldn't know that something is missing here because I've got this little point that fits right into there and this surrounds it. So now I just got to find something that I can add into there. And it could be as simple as, you know, if I had like a little bird, you know, I don't have one, but I can collage that into there, you know, if it were something that was more complimentary and you don't see that now. And so now you've got this bigger embellishment that you can use on your stuff. Um, so, so this is where I, you know, I like to play and I can show you different things, but you know, it all depends on what you have in your stash. Um, like here's this other one with the, with the uh, flower on it. I can stick that in there and, and that also makes a really nice embellishment and you don't know that anything is missing there. So it's just this one that we have to figure out and work on. So I'm definitely going to put this in embellishments uh, because we may come up with something altogether uh, different. Like here's, here's this daisy. So I could, I could stick that. Um, if I took the post off of here, I could stick that in there or in here. It's not a daisy. What is that? Um, but you, you wouldn't notice that this was missing, if, if, but I have to take all that off. But that just gives you a few different ideas right there. So we'll we'll keep playing on that one as we find stuff. Um, another dangling type of earring that is automatically ready to be a charm. Mm, this one's pretty. Okay, so this looks like it's one of those beaded rings, I think. That's what it looks like. Lots of gorgeous beads on here. So that just says charm dangle, definitely. Another one of those weird blobby things. This one's very pretty. Now this one I would be torn um, to, to use it as an embellishment because it's so flat. Um, or, you know, do I make it into another charm? It does have holes through the metal, so I could dangle something from it uh, and dangle something to make a, like a loop to, to hang it. Um, I'm wondering if that's a really good stone or not, but... Um, regardless, it's just, it's just junk jewelry. So I'm not going to fret over that. I'm, I'm going to call this an embellishment because I, I think it works just nicely like that. If you wanted to embellish something. 
Here is a broken piece with this big monstrous gem. Um, I'm going to call this uh, Charm Wannabe uh, because I would break the rest of this off of here and uh, use the stone. Okay, we have this little angel 